I think I kind of knew like just that something had been wrong because like I was a competitive dancer my whole life and like being not not being able to do my routines like as well as I had been doing them and have the same amount of energy like I felt the change um, so I took it upon myself to like go and make sure just like everything was okay and at first I did get turned away and they told me like you're just an average teenager everyone's tired like hormones you're growing like it's just all that and I ended up taking a second opinion and I went back and um, comes to find out that they drew blood and that I had leukemia so it's very grateful that I went again. The statistic 11% like it's a scary number like 11% out of 100% that's a very low statistic um, so like being told that like it raised a lot of fear, but at the same time, like, it was still a chance, whereas, like, there are some people who are told that they have no chance. So I tried to look at, like, the bright side of that 11 and think at least it's an 11, not a zero. My big mantra, be positive, has that's always been my saying, like, throughout this whole thing, because I feel like um, body and mind kind of go together, and if you want your body to get better, you also have to think and hope and wish to get better. So that's what I did, but I also found it very cool how um, I was O negative blood type, but when you have a bone marrow transplant, you do change over to your donor's blood type. So they just happen to be B positive, so it just followed my whole motto. I definitely had, before I was diagnosed with cancer, um, an idea of like what I wanted to do. Um, I was kind of bouncing back and forth between majors that don't really fit together at all. One was interior design and one was psychology. Um, so I kind of already had the psychology major like in my head, but um, wasn't 100% set on it. But after being diagnosed, um, I'd say the person that really helped me um, the most was my psychologist and mainly because I was the type of kid who didn't really like the pain meds. I didn't want to take them, I wasn't for them, I didn't like the way they made me feel. Um, so we did a lot of like meditation and other methods of healing um, and pain relief. And just like he having her to talk to, to confide in, like it was just, an amazing feeling and I wanted to be able to be that person for somebody else and psychology had already been something that I was extremely passionate about and I said hey why not make a change and be that person for somebody else because it was something that I enjoyed and I enjoyed receiving.